You Decide 2024 coverage. We are officially just two weeks out from Election Day. If you're voting by absentee ballot, there are some things you need to know before November 5th. Fox 23's Jenna James shows us the do's and don'ts when you get your absentee ballot in the mail and what the Rogers County Election Board Secretary says voters need to know. If you're voting absentee in the November 5th election, your ballot must be notarized in order for your vote to count. And state law says that notaries can't charge a fee for it. To vote standard absentee in Oklahoma, you must have a notary present. Here's the law. For standard absentee ballots, state law requires an absentee voter to sign an absentee ballot affidavit, such signature to be notarized at no charge by a notary public. When something's not notarized, my board and I have to reject it because it has to be done the way that the statutes say. If you're worried about where to find a notary in the next two weeks, Oklahoma.gov has a full list. Many banks, credit unions, libraries, businesses, and organizations offer free absentee ballot notary services to customers and non-customers. The next two Sundays before the election, All Souls Unitarian Church will be notarizing absentee ballots. While there, you can also sign their banner with your pledge to vote. Physically incapacitated voters who use the PI absentee ballot method don't require a notary. They do, though, require two witnesses when the voter signs. The witnesses not only need to sign, but you have to have their addresses as well. If your blanks are not filled out, you run the risk of your ballot being rejected. And I don't want that for anybody, so please make sure you fill out all the blanks. According to the Tulsa County Election Board, mailed absentees must be sent through the United States Postal Service or by a private mail service. You may also hand deliver your ballot to the Tulsa County Election Board. Hand delivered ballots must be delivered by the Monday before the election by 5 p.m. But you can't hand in a ballot for someone else and you'll need your valid ID to hand in your absentee ballot. When you get your ballot, get it done. Get it done, get it filled out, get it notarized, and get it back in. Voted absentee ballots must be received by the county election board no later than 7 p.m. on election night. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, Jenna James, Fox 23 News. Now, if you missed yesterday's deadline to request an absentee ballot, you'll need to vote in person, either by early voting starting next week or on election day.